So one of my major interests is uh, rectal cancer and our long-term goal is to achieve organ preservation in a considerable number of uh, patients with this device and the idea is to achieve such a downsizing of the tumour that no surgery is uh, necessary in these patients which is a big gain in terms of uh, quality of life for these patients. The advantage of treating the arm the unity is that we can uh, visualize the tumor much better than we can do on uh, comb beam CT guided radiotherapy and um, we hope to identify imaging biomarkers that might help us to identify patients who are more likely to have a pathological complete response and who do not have to undergo surgery. We have treated uh, quite a number of uh, rectal cancer cases on the unity so far and we see some very interesting signals in terms of um, anatomical changes and also in terms of functional imaging um, with the MRI images we acquire on the Unity. So currently we're treating these patients with normal fractionated treatment, 50.4 gray and 28 fractions. And since we can visualize the target volume much better, we, we did shrink the margins um, uh, so far already. The long-term goal is to identify subregions in these tumors that uh, might be candidates for dose escalation. And this is something that you can only do with uh, MR-guided radiotherapy. And in some patients, we were already able to, to identify sub-areas which do still harbor tumor sites that have diffusion restriction after, let's say, two or three weeks. And we are currently developing strategies to escalate these specific subvolumes in these tumors. And this is something where we want to go. With adaptive shape, we can really uh, shrink these margins. And I'm quite sure that this will also translate into a measurable uh, quality of life gain for the patients if, let's say, the sphincter receives a lower dose compared to a patient who had the same treatment with larger margins. I mean, the big advantage that we see with uh, 0.5 Tesla um, MRI uh, hybrid devices all the opportunities you have with functional imaging. So you can really personalize treatments based on changes you see on functional imaging, diffusion-weighted imaging, ADC maps, and this is something that you cannot do with a low-field um, MRI. So we had a couple of uh, very interesting cases where we saw no, really change, no real change in terms of anatomy of the tumor, so there was no material shrinkage, but on diffusion-weighted imaging, we saw that the diffusion restriction was getting less, and indeed these patients did have a very strong pathological response, and this is information we usually don't have if we only do uh, comb beam CT-guided uh, treatments. And we hope that this uh, information will uh, guide us uh, better in the future to personalize treatments in these patients.